hello folks here we are in the middle of the Sinai Desert and we're at a friendly fob which is uh, under attack we've got three enemy convoys inbound made up primarily of T-80 tanks for defense we've got myself we've got my semi wingman semi only because he's going to be airborne at the same time but we have separate but uh, similar missions we also have two QRFs quick reaction forces made up of MA-1A tanks mostly located behind me here um, I'm waiting on a couple of my uh, crew chiefs. They had a promotion party last night, but I'm not going to... I'm going to go ahead and start the process, and hopefully they'll show up in time. I've got uh, a front display that's reminding me that I need to close my canopy because we're going to start to make noise, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And while we're waiting, I'm going to go ahead and hit the uh, lights button, and then I'm going to check the fire lights. Engine 1 fire. Engine 2 fire. APU fire. Fire. And the discharge and fire lights. Engine one fire. Engine two fire. APU fire. Aftec fire. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and let my crew chief know over there, and I'm going to go ahead and get my APU started. It's a fully automated process, indicated by the upright display here, and when it's done, we'll get an on flag in the button, and these two main screens will be powered. Ah, here they are. Abbott and Costello, better late than never. Okay, let's see here. I've got, uh, I want to go to the fire, the fuel um, system, start the aux pump. Then I'm going to go to the flight system, and I'm going to set an upper limit on altitude. We'll make that 650. Enter. And then we'll make set a lower limit of 25 feet enter. Okay, I could change the units to nautical miles, but I'm going to leave it at uh, kilometers. And we've got altimeter sitting at 2992 set in both standby and, and the main system here. Turn on these things while we're at it. Okay, then I'm going to continue around the horn here. The TSD, uh, here's my flight plan. And up here, uh, I'll check the INUs for their alignment. We've got an increasing system time. We've got good satellites, so I am assuming that the alignments are progressing normally. We've got a Doppler that's on, but rejected, and that's because we're on the ground here. Okay, I'm going to go over here to the weapon system. I'm going to do the bore sight real quick, turning on the IHADs, which means I have to turn on the primary knob for that and turn the IHADs back on. Make all the circles concentric there, and the reticle right in the middle, right about there. Okay, that's a good bore sight. And get rid of the uh, eye heads again. And then the other thing I want to do with the weapon system is check the WAS for the gun, and then the missiles. Okay. All right, so that works good. And then I'm going to go on to the uh, fire control radar and turn that on. In order to do that, I go to utility and I uh, unpin the MMA. And there is a uh, built-in test. Takes about a minute, but uh, fortunately, give us a get out of jail free card for those people who do not have patience, and that's me. So that turns on the fire control radar, and we know what's on because we have this graphic. Now, if we uh, had control of it, we'd also have some nomenclature, but we won't get that till we're airborne, and I'll, we'll talk about that later. Okay, now it's time to start the engine. So I'm going to give the crew chiefs a little head-up nod, and then we're going to start the first engine, which is the left, number one. We'll hit the start toggle forward, and once we get a rise in NG, I'm going to bring the throttle around the horn. Uh, we've got good oil pressure, got a good hydraulics, we've got a rising NG, a rising TT, uh, TGT, and now we've got a, a, an increasing rotor RPM, and we should have a rising torque here as well. When this number gets to 50, that on light will go out, and I will start the number 2 engine. And same procedure. Okay, now as those two engines are uh, winding up, I'm going to go ahead and go to the comm system, go to manual, go to VHF, and I'm going to put in 134.45. 
enter. Okay. And that's Cougar Base, and I'll talk to them here momentarily. Just waiting for the engines to wind up here. Boy, that's a pain in the butt. That's just a start to let everybody know that uh, there is an attack inbound. Okay. And that looks like that's pretty stable. So I am going to go ahead and bring the throttles forward now. All the way and together and slowly to the fly position. Rotor RPM low. Okay. And once they stabilize at 101, that's the uh, uh, rotor RPM and the power RPM. And those numbers all look good, so I'm going to go ahead and kill the APU because we won't need it anymore. And I think we're about ready to take off here on our mission. The rest of the stuff we'll get later. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in TSD and take the override off. And uh, I'm also going to bring my iHeads back on and I'm going to go to uh, Bob Up mode. Cougar base, Cub 1 lifting. Okay. Up we go. A little bit of uh, collective. Cub 1, Cougar base, Roger. And a little bit of left rudder. Okay. And we'll turn outbound. And now it's just a matter of getting this thing trimmed up. Always kind of a chore. Not a difficult one, but you just got to be patient. Okay, and before I get too far into Indian country, I'm going to go ahead and arm my weapon system and my self defense uh, equipment. Cougar base, Cub 2 lifting. Cub 2, Cougar base, Roger. Pausing Hellfire. Hey, once I get on the other side of this power line here. I'll do some other stuff. Process of getting ready. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the weapon system. And I'm going to go ahead and waz that. Waz the gun. Okay, and then I am going to Go to the uh, FCR. And I'm going to take control. He lost. One passing way up. Two at 1,200. Okay, I think maybe I may have dewazed it here. Let's take a look. Yep. Okay, that's good. Stay low, buddy. Stay low. Okay. Now, taking a look at our chart there. Get the trim set again. Uh, we know the convoy is coming down this highway here. They stopped here to get refueled so they're topped off before they get into combat later. And so we're going to avoid this as we uh, try to come around on our flight plan so that we're behind. Now we expect the convoy to be uh, kind of in this area here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go direct 
waypoint four. Okay, which is uh, need to go to the other. There we go. Okay, that uh, ski chalet looking symbol is the waypoint marker. I call it a ski chalet because it's got steep roofs for snow removal. Some people call it a doghouse. Some people call it a home plate. But it looks like to me a ski chalet. Okay, in order to avoid that uh, refueling station, we are going to pass a little bit to this side of it. So I'm going to take a right once we get beyond this mogul here. Now if I wanted to go by the station, I'd go down that valley right there. But instead I'm going to come over this little ridge in front of me. Staying low and retrimming. And uh, staying low on the back side of this as well. That was Cub 2. They're returning with an engine problem. Kind of feels like I'm on a toboggan right here. Got it. Thanks, George. Okay, there's a little rise here, it looks like. Altitude low. And if we look over there, we can see the tops of the antenna for that station here. Now our plan is to head out across this plain towards that rather large lump in the sand in front of us there. Okay, just make sure I got everything set up here. Everything's armed and ready to go. I'm going to make one quick real sweep here to make sure that the radar is working, and it is. Okay, this is uh, the road that the convoy is on, and it joins with the, pi or the uh, power line over there, and they run parallel through that valley. And it's a good way of getting my eyes on the targets. But first, I'm going to cross to the far side of these. And then I'm going to start climbing. get aligned with the power line and one of the other things I want to do is go to the uh, pilot headset get it all trimmed up do one quick scan looks like we're not quite in range yet Right again. There we go. it off. The sand gets some distance. I 
don't want to be too much of a steady target. Getting lots of targets. Okay, we got three remaining. Okay, they're moving. out of missiles here. Time to head home, get some more missiles. Broadcasting. Cougar Base, Cub 1, RTB, Winchester, Hellfire. Took out about half the column. They're still en route your location. Cub 1, Cougar Base, plan on reloading and hitting convoys 2 and 3. Will you need fuel? Cougar base copy. Can do. And negative on the fuel. Okay, just checking to make sure that the other convoys aren't around.
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and kill my self-defense stuff. Yeah, it looks like the uh, QRFs are both leaving. That's good. Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, get the auto APU running again. Kill the IHADs. <coughs> and as soon as we get the uh, APU up and running, we're going to bring the par back. And we'll get the uh, weapons loaded here. Request refueling. Okay. Throttles back up. Rotor RPM low. Kill the APU. I had on. Bob up. Cougar base cub one lifting. Cub one, Cougar base, Roger. Let's get things trimmed up here real quick. Get a few of them before they uh, run into our ground force. Okay, start to scan. There they are. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Okay, and go over to the next one now. Uh, just me firing at the enemy lets the tank commander know that they're there. And now, I want to get to these other, this other convoy before it mixes with ours, otherwise it won't be able to fire. So let's climb. I'm going to clean it off, start again afresh. Looks like they're already shooting at each other. OK, 
Okay, start the... Uh, now that's the... Uh, I think that's just the tanks that are still in our area. So I don't want to shoot them. I think it's our guys. Ah, there we go. I'm gonna get over. There we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. I think that is it. Our guys are having trouble. Hopefully that helps. Altitude low. Altitude low. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of the iHads and start the APU. Make sure we're de armed.